going on, fellas? Listen, today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I want you to come with me. We're going to my old barber, and we're gonna get some gray blending done on my hair. I get a lot of comments from you guys about the color of my hair and what it would look like if my hair was a little bit darker. So today, I'm taking one for the team, and we're gonna find out. Let's go. So here we are at Canton Hair Design. This is Nathaniel. What's up? How you doing? Good. Listen, we are doing gray blending today. So Nathaniel, what is gray blending and how does it work? So gray blending is basically we're going to take your natural existing color and we're just basically going to be dimming the lights. We're not necessarily um, adding a lot of darkness. We're just adding more depth. So it's just going to give you more subtle tones and just change the look of your of uh, and change your look just slightly. Okay. We did this uh, probably about a year ago, I yeah. want to say. Basically, what I remember is it just looks like your, what your hair looks like when it's wet or damp, right? And it's not a permanent thing. It does wash out in a couple of weeks. So let's get to it. I noticed that you've, you've got it all in, so how long does this have to sit in my hair? It's five minutes. Five minutes only. If you want, you can leave it on for like a couple more minutes to add more depth, but five minutes is good. If you leave it on a little too long, then the ashy tones start to take over, and we don't really want to do that. Okay. So after this, it's just rinse and shampoo to get rid of it? Right. We're just going to actually rinse and condition it. We're not going to shampoo it out. We're just going to rinse and condition. Okay. And um, then after that, we'll do your beard. All right, cool. Now, he did mention that the beard hair is different than the hair on your head, obviously. It's a little more coarse. So we're going to try it on the beard, and it may not work, but we're going to give it a shot. Right. The texture is a little bit more coarse okay. on the beard, so we're going to give it a shot. We're going to see what it does, but there's a chance that it <laughs> might just uh, put a little glow but not really do much. All right, cool. Okay, so we just finished up um, putting the gray blending on my hair and my beard. We did it separately. And yeah, I can already tell a difference. So I didn't take a before photo because we were kind of in a hurry. But you saw my intro and you saw the hair color and what it looked like when I first sat down. So we'll compare in just a few minutes once we get all styled up. Here we are, this is the after, and as you can see, it's definitely different. Like I said, we did the beard as well as the hair. So it's not, I mean, you can see, right? There is a, there is a bit of a difference. It's not crazy hair color. It's not like my hair is black or anything now. Like Nathaniel said, it just sort of dims the lights a little bit. It just takes all those super gray or white highlights and it just sort of darkens all that right. stuff down, yeah. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I know you guys have been asking for what I would look like with darker hair. Here you go. This is as much as I'm going to do. I'm not coloring my hair at all. I do enjoy and I do like my gray hair. But anyway, fellas, I hope this was helpful. If you're thinking about gray blending, go see your local stylist or your local barber and see if they do gray blending. Ask around and get it done if it's something that you're interested in. Like I said, it isn't permanent. It'll wash out in a week or two. 
And yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. It's, you can see a difference, right? Anyway, fellas, if you're into this type of men's lifestyle content, please hit that subscribe button and because it really does make a difference. And I'll see you very soon in a brand new video. Thanks.